Using bills of materials and drawings is a great way to give manufacturing information about part numbers, quantities, and material descriptions for items used in an assembly. Today I'm going to show you how to add more functionality to your bomb by adding extra columns and equations so you could give even more information to your final assembly team. Take this simple assembly for example. I've been asked to display both the English and metric length values for my weldment inside my assembly bomb, which isn't possible with the standard bomb table tool. I'll begin by adding a column to the right of the quantity column. A simple right mouse click on the column allows me to insert the additional column. A quick selection in the dialog will also allow me to set this as a custom property, specifically the length value. Any weldment profile will now show its maximum length according to the document properties, or in this case, English inch values. My task was to show both inch and millimeter values, so I'll repeat the insert column again and add another column to the right of the length column. This time, instead of choosing a custom property, I'll use the equation selection followed by clicking on the equation symbol in the dialog box. On the next dialog box, I'll select the columns drop down box and select the column I want to reference in the equation. Since I'm interested in showing the length value in two different units, I pick this length column. Now our default unit precision is three decimal places for English standard. So to overwrite this default in the equation on my bomb, I simply place a curly left bracket at the beginning of this equation, followed by a number two for two places, and close this by a right curly bracket. Then at the end of the text string, I add an asterisk to multiply and 25.4. That's it. Press the green check to complete the command. Now to finish this bomb, I'll double click in the top cell and type in the name millimeter length. If this is a bomb style that I need for other assemblies later, I can just right mouse click on the bomb and save as is. Then I can save this bomb template with a unique name in a specified location to be used later. Adding equations to SOLIDWORKS bombs is a powerful option that can take your original bills of materials to new levels. I hope you enjoyed this entry in our video series on working with assemblies in SOLIDWORKS. Keep an eye out for the next episode.